we have learned if else so far and in this tutorial we are going ahead with if else if ladder now i'm going to demonstrate the conception of if else if ladder using a practical example say we need to find out the maximum of three numbers which are taken from the keyboard say a b and c i'm declaring three variables here a b and c and we need to take we need to assign the maximum in the max variable so we need to input these three numbers a b and c so i'm giving a prompt to the user of the program enter three numbers and the user is supposed to provide three numbers and we are taking three numbers using the scanf the first one goes to a the second one goes to b and the third one goes to c so the input is complete now we need to process we need to find out the maximum of three numbers a b and c so for that the logic is a is maximum if it is greater than b and simultaneously it is greater than c so the if statement is going to be something like this a is greater than b and if a is greater than c we have used the and operator in between because if both of these conditions are true then only a is maximum in that case the maximum is obviously a now if the first testing that means this condition fails then obviously the a is not maximum in that case either of b or c is maximum so going ahead with the else part we just unable to decide that which one is maximum b or c so here what you need to do is to test again between b and c which one is maximum so again what you need to do is to write if here and put the condition to test the maximum between b and c in this way so now if we are coming to the else part then we are checking again if b is greater than c now if indeed b is greater than c then obviously the maximum is b so this is the if else if ladder that we use in programming in such cases where a false condition doesn't definitely determine a branch rather you need to go ahead testing some other condition to take a particular branch of code so here we are testing again if with the else if if b greater than c or not if indeed b greater than c we are writing max is b otherwise if that is also false that means if b greater than c is false then obviously the last option is max is c so in this way we can write the if else if block so that going to help us to check further conditions so now we can just maximum is percent d we can print the result from max say we are taking a is equal to 15 b is equal to 10 and c equals to 5 let us take these are the contents of the variables a b and c as given from the keyboard so in this case a greater than b that means 15 greater than 15 greater than 10 that is true and a greater than c that is also true so max equals to a this is going to be executed and the control doesn't go to else if or else part it directly comes here and prints the content of max otherwise let us consider that a is 15 b is 30 and c is 10 in this case a greater than b 15 greater than 30 this is false 15 greater than 30 this is false so this is not checked this is false that means the and is false so it the control comes to the else if part and b greater than c is checked now 30 greater than 10 that is true so max is assigned with the content of b and it comes here and prints the content of max that is 30 otherwise say we have a equals to 5 b equals to 10 and c equals to 20 in this case the first one is false the second one is as well false then the control comes to the else part and the max is assigned with the content of c and we get the maximum as 20 here so let me just execute the program and show you the output here we go it's asking for three numbers i'm giving 12 oops i'm giving 30 10 and 5 so it is showing that maximum is 30 it's okay let me check the other option 10 20 15 so it is giving 20 as the maximum that's correct now we are checking 45 90 109 so it is giving 109 so it's working fine